ruined and almost forgotten. This building in Shanghai was once a military brothel run by Japanese occupiers during World War II. There were once more than 150 so-called comfort stations in Shanghai alone, but the buildings that housed them are disappearing amid rapid development. Shanghai has demolished so many, so all these historical remains are slowly being demolished. There are fewer and fewer. Up to 200,000 women, many of them mere girls, are believed to have been enslaved in military brothels across Asia. Some face discrimination and persecution after the war. In China, only a handful are still alive. The Chinese government has not given them aid. It is people outside the government, like me, that give them living assistance. This is a group of women who have suffered so much. Their marriages, families, some do not even have children. Ninety years old, covered with scars. For them to live like this has not been easy at all. These statues, relatively hidden on a university campus, represent Chinese and Korean victims of the comfort women system. Experts say diplomatic considerations have prevented China from fully addressing the issue. Compared with South Korea, China has not done nearly enough, especially in the 1990s when China-Japan relations were relatively better, because the comfort women issue has become a really, really sensitive topic in Japanese diplomacy. This is thought to be Asia's earliest comfort station. It's now a residential building like any other. And while China is still quick to commemorate the violence of World War II, the ordeal and memory of its comfort women victims risk fading away.